Now this morning, people with appointments could get their shots at the Prime Osborne Convention Center. Sky 4 flying over the scene as people arrived. We have a number of crews on the vaccine rollout. We begin with News for Jack's reporter Zach Lajway, who's been there all morning. What was the situation? Were people happier with the process this morning? Bruce, it's been a busy day. You know, aside from that initial wave we saw early this morning, it's been smooth sailing since. This is according to people we've been speaking with. But seconds before we went live this afternoon, a gentleman pulled up and he said it was a mess. And I asked how so, because if you take a look, there are not a lot of people here. There's actually no line at all. And he said it's a mess because of just that. There are millions of people who need to be vaccinated and there is no line here this midday. But if you take a look at this video on your screen, you can see there was a long line here this morning. I spoke to one woman who had a 930 appointment, but because confirmation emails are not being sent out, she says she was not yeah. sure of the process, so she arrived early. She said two lines were formed and people were being called out based upon their appointment time and multiple people were checking in those folks. She said she will have to go through this process again for the second shot in 28 days. I give you a card that said, mine said February 1st was the first time that I could make an appointment. Unfortunately, you do have to go online through the same process and book it yourself. Are you dreading that? I am a little bit dreading that, but I'm pretty uh, vigilant when it comes to that. I will have my phones, my computers, and I found that if you keep checking, sometimes more appointments open up. So I tell people, if you don't get it the first time, just keep refreshing your screen, you might get in. According to a city officials, the state is working with JFRD to convert more testing sites into vaccine centers. The city will continue to do everything in our power to expedite. A thousand a day from the Department of Health will not get us where we need to go. So we are already working diligently to convert our testing and flu vaccination components into COVID vaccinations. And as we do, we're going to maintain the same priority that, uh, that the state has laid out through the Department of Health. So if you are coming down here to the Prime Osborne Convention Center either today or in the coming days, know these things on your screen here. We'll have much more on this coverage throughout the day right here on Channel 4. Reporting live in downtown Jacksonville, I'm Zach Lajway, Channel 4, the local station.